Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Tina Jennings. I am so excited to start today's show off with Lego Robots. You heard me right. To tell us all about the Lego Robotics and the first Lego League programs are teacher Charlotte Ackerman and Sunrise Drive fourth graders Madeline Anderson, Jana Holt, Rory McGuire, and Lucas Pollock. You guys, thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you for having us. You guys look awesome. I'm super excited to get to the robots. I know you guys are too. But Mrs. Ackerman, let's kind of talk about the program itself and uh, what really gets the kids kind of really excited about it. Well, I think we all agree that it's enormously satisfying to be presented with a challenging problem and then discover that you can solve it with logic and step-by-step -step reasoning. And that's what we do in robotics. Now, I know we all have fourth graders here today, but yeah. what grades does this really cover? Okay, in the Catalina Foothills, we have a robotics program that goes from second to fifth grade. All the students in all of our schools uh, go through the rotation, starting in second grade. But this year, we're actually going to add it for kindergarten and first, because the kind of thinking and problem solving needs to start early. These are the skills that students need in the future. and. We know that we start learning to collaborate and solve problems together very early on. Now, I know that you know this is working because the kids want to do, we'll call it work, extra work when it comes to the robotics. Right, that's it. They come back at lunch, they come back after school to do First Lego League, they come on holidays, and they work and work and work. People ask me why I do it, and I say it's because children want to work at this. We need to provide that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I know you kind of hit on it a little bit, but tell me what kind of problem solving they're actually doing by doing this. Okay, well, first of all, they work collaboratively and they solve uh, science, uh, they use their science and, and math skills to solve programming and engineering problems. And they do it with Legos and Lego robots, which makes it really fun. Uh, and the missions that we do are First Lego League missions. Now, First Lego League is um, an annual international competition in robotics. And so children all over the world are doing this set of missions. Now, each of the missions represents a real world problem in need of creative and innovative thinking. And who better to do that than our children? And what they, what they learn in doing it is that not only do they have fresh ideas for real world problems, but also they develop the skills to know that they can be the ones to solve them. And I know Saturday is the uh, big tournament, right? Yeah. Lucas, uh, we've got Animal Allies is the theme, right? Yeah. And what are people going to see when they come out to the big tournament? They're going to see lots of teams that built a robot that are going to do the missions on this board. And this is kind of a good indication of, of what will be out there. What's kind of the mission you guys want to show? We're, we're going to show um, the service dog and the refrigerator. The refrigerator is a little tricky because not all it gets stuck. So oh. you have to, have to build another arm to pull it back. Oh, this is so interesting to me. Maury, I know we're talking about the animal theme. What does that really mean? Well, it means you have to do like a research project on the animals and human interactions. And you have to do it all with Legos. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very hard, just looking at all of this. Madeline, what kind of makes the hard work of everything that you put into this actually fun? The hard work in robotics is fun because you can program the robot to do what you want to do. And we're going to actually see some of that, right? Are you guys going to show me how you guys can make them dance and do things? Yeah. Lucas, do you want to start us off? Sure. So kind of show me, I want to see this in action. So, I'll, I'll just press it. So, so we programmed it to go forward, put the box in. The reason why we're putting a box in is because once um, Rory, Rory's going to, pro uh, he programmed it to go around and push the food out. But there's m many variables that you have to cover, and he's gonna, and it's also a two-part mission. Holy cow! It's doing like a task. And it, yeah. This is so awesome, and you guys did all of this. Yes. This is so crazy. Now, ladies, does one of the robots also dance? Yes. 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 Which one of them do that? Ours. 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 Can I see that? Oh, there it is. Okay, and it's going to dance for us? Yes. yes. Let's get it out there doing its thing. 
Okay. And is this it bringing all the stuff back yep. to you? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm sorry, five-year-old Tina is totally out here right now. <laughs> you guys did such a good job. Thank you. Thanks. And so this one's gonna dance for us? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. What a great idea. And Mrs. Ackerman, is this, as we're watching it do its dancing, is this kind of an indication of what we're going to see at the tournament? Uh, you're going to see the missions, like the, the, like the boys did. The robot dance is an extra project that the girls did. Start it again, girls. Stop it and start it again. Um, because robotics is not all just doing missions. It's figuring out how to make it do some other things as well. And the girls, after their missions were done, decided, hey, let's make this robot dance. This is so cool. So what's next for the fourth graders, for robotics, for the Lego, everything? Well, every year the missions get more challenging. There are more skills to learn. But most importantly, as they go on into school, they'll be using these skills and programming. Um, almost everything they do will involve some use of technology and robotics. Look, your robot it, it dances way better than I do. You guys are totally my heroes today. This was completely awesome. Good luck on Saturday uh, to all of the competitors. Mrs. Ackman, you're doing such a great job with them. You guys are rock stars. Thank you for coming today. You guys are awesome. Now, you guys, what we were just talking about, the first LEGO League Southern Arizona Regional Tournament will take place Saturday. For more details, visit the websites you see on your screen. So take a look now.